What up, y'all? Welcome back to the Fit Man Cook Kitchen. Don't know if you got the memo, but it's about to be hot boy, hot girl summer all summer long. It's getting hot in here. Hey. So take a off. No, it's YouTube. Keep I on all your clothes. Mm. 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 What we mean by that is though, it's weather. The weather is gonna be hot, like super hot. You may not know this, but every time you fire up that kitchen, fire up the stove, fire up the oven, you're actually warming the interior of the house, which actually leads to what? Higher energy costs because you gotta spend more energy to cool the house back down. So today, I'm gonna show you four amazing no-cook recipes that will not warm up your kitchen at all. These are things that you probably already have in your pantry, and if you don't have them in your pantry, you can get from the grocery store. So, if you're ready to roll up your sleeves for no-cook meals, and let's get started. Okay, first you're gonna get a rotisserie chicken from the store, peel back the skin, and tear the meat into pieces. Now for the first recipe, we're making a cold chicken cucumber peanut salad. Chop up some cucumbers. I'm using Persian cucumbers. For the sauce, mix peanut butter, low sodium soy sauce or tamari, garlic chili sauce, vinegar, olive oil, and water. Add the chicken to the cucumber and drizzle with the sauce. It's really good. Garnish with red chili flakes, cilantro, and lime. Now let's make an abundance bowl using some leftover quinoa or whatever grains you may have. Chop up some broccoli or broccolini or whatever veggie you have in your fridge and some colorful bell peppers and toss with quinoa. For the sauce, you're going to whisk tahini, lemon, garlic powder, sea salt and pepper and a little bit of water to thin it out. Then smother the grains and veggies with the tahini sauce or your favorite sauce for an abundance bowl. Wow! Okay, now let's put those canned goods to use. Chop up lettuce, then diced tomato, add to a bowl along with black beans and corn, then mix the enchilada sauce with cumin, honey, lime, and a splash of olive oil. Add in the diced chicken and top with crushed tortilla chips and cotija queso or queso fresco. Now this one's my personal favorite. Grab your favorite buffalo hot sauce and toss it with the rotisserie chicken. On a large tortilla, you're gonna add Dijon, spinach, the chicken, and some cheese if desired. You can also add tomato and onion if you want, then roll everything up and enjoy for a lunch or dinner time treat with some fresh fruit. Okay, y'all, that's it for today's video. I hope that y'all really enjoyed it. Now, these four recipes were made using rotisserie chicken, but you can swap in whatever you'd like. I like to use rotisserie chicken again just because it's budget friendly, it's really accessible, and again, it's budget friendly. I feel like I'm doing a commercial now for a rotisserie chicken, but it's not that. I want you to comment below what you would do differently or other variations that you would make um, for these four different recipes. If you're new to the channel, what up, how you doing? Don't forget, you gotta hit that bell after you subscribe so that way you can be notified and be a part of the notification gang whenever we post hot new content here in the kitchen don't forget you can catch us every thursday at at the table podcast wherever you choose to get your podcast but we share all the full episode here on youtube as well thank you so much for watching until next time keep it helpful but of course never ever boring boom and peace stay cool